it's Lord of Allo here with a quick and easy interactive card featuring a swinging monkey from the new Genoblade Monkey Around stamp set, which is absolutely adorable. As you can see, when we tilt or shake it a little bit, the vine moves smoothly from side to side. I started by doing some light ink blending with limelight, sour apple and jalapeno pepper premium dye ink. Once I was happy with the first layer of ink blending, I flicked some diluted ink on it with a paintbrush and let it dry for a while. Off camera I cut leaves out of post-it tape and adhere them to the edges. I used dyes from the Bold Greenery, Peaceful Greenery and Complementary Greenery sets, but any medium-sized leaf dyes that you may have in your stash will work. Or you can cut them with a pair of scissors if you're feeling extra crafty. I then went in with the same inks to darken the edges. I actually mostly used jalapeno pepper and added some Caribbean Sea, which is my favorite color. And once you peel off the masks, you can add more ink if the contrast is too eye-catching. We just want a little bit of texture without the bulk of die cuts. Next, I used the largest die from the A2 stitched rectangle stack set 1 Dynamics to cut my panel. It's time for the super simple mechanism. If you have any specific pendulum dies, by all means use them. If not, you can use the largest die from the spin and slide channels Dynamics or a skinny banner die to cut a strip of acetate. I like to sandwich it between printer paper to get a clean cut. You might still need to sand the edges a little bit. For the next demonstration, I used cardstock instead of acetate so that you can see what I'm doing. If you want to use the spin and slide discs for your swing mechanism, you'll need a hole reinforcer that matches the diameter of it, which is a quarter of an inch. The MFT reinforcers are slightly smaller, but you could stretch them a little bit or file the disc to take off a smidge. In this example, I made my own with a quarter of an inch hole punch and a half an inch hole punch. You'll see how in just a moment. But once we have the two elements, we would just need to attach them with some strong liquid adhesive. So punch the smaller hole first and then center it in the half an inch hole punch window. I didn't do a great job on this one, but you get the idea. Finally, we would need to add a cap to the plastic disc so that our pendulum doesn't fall off. And as you can see, uh, well barely since I'm drifting off screen, it swings really nicely. For today's card, I made an even simpler version of the pendulum. You'll see it in just a second. Okay, so here are all of the elements you'll need. The card base, the main panel framed by a white one, the pendulum of course, I've drawn a little red dot in the center of one edge, the beautiful sentiment cut with the essential happy birthday dynamics out of heavyweight vellum and gold shine cardstock. Our little monkey, I'm gonna layer two die cuts just to add some weight and sturdiness. And finally, a piece of brown or gray string. Now it's time to pierce a hole in both our swinging element and the card panel. I'm going to use my 1 16th of an inch hole punch, but if you don't have one, you can just use a piercing tool or even a thick needle. In that case, heat it up a little bit so that it makes a perfect hole in the acetate. Okay, there we go. Let me just get rid of that little plastic circle that didn't release completely. Now we can grab the string and thread it through the acetate strip and then through the hole in our panel. Easier said than done. Let me just grab the scissors to push it through. Okay, now I'll just tape it to the back of the card panel. Let's rub it really well so that it stays put. As you can see, the pendulum already swings nicely, but let's adhere the string to the acetate. For that, I'm using glossy accents. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking I could have added some mini leaves to the vine, but I guess today I'm keeping it simple. The tip of the scissors are really helpful to guide the piece of string, and now I can snip off the rest. 
there we go. Let's test that swinging motion again. And yes, it works perfectly. Let's see, the monkey would look great about mm, there, but we need to assemble the rest before deciding. Let's stack the two die cuts and continue. By the way, you'll find the list of Copic markers that I used in the description box if you're interested. Off camera, I adhered the panel to the card base, and now I'm peeling off the backing of these thick foam dots. I decided to use them instead of the clear foam tape strips that you saw before, just to give the pendulum more space. To adhere the monkey to the vine, I went with glossy accents, but added too much, so I'm getting rid of some before I make a mess. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna let it dry under an acrylic block before I add the final touch. A couple of gold enamel stars. I hope you enjoyed today's super simple card. Check out the description box for the links to the MFT products, measurements, etc. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye bye, hasta la próxima.